New Zealanders being hungry for change. Kia ora and welcome to Not The Six O'Clock News for Tuesday the 16th of September. I'm Lila Harre, leader of the Internet Party and Internet Mana candidate. Well, we're back on air today after the extraordinary success of last night's Moment of Truth. The Auckland Town Hall was packed, 1,200 people inside, 800 turned away, and over 200,000 people have viewed the live event on YouTube within the last 24 hours. Undoubtedly the highlight of the night was Edward Snowden's live appearance from Russia and his personal testimony confirming what we had feared, claimed and had been strenuously denied by the Prime Minister. Through X key score, the GCSB and other Five Eyes intelligence agencies have uncontrolled access to our emails, phone calls, text messages and internet activities. Metadata and content is collected via two New Zealand nodes feeding this information-hungry spying cartel. We already know how X key score works. What key still won't say is if we have it here. Unless he can categorically deny its existence here, then he cannot say that the GCSB does not do mass surveillance. Since Saturday, John Key's claims have unravelled with his story changing daily. First, he tried to divert attention away from X Key Score, raising an unrelated programme which he says did not even proceed to a full business case. By Monday, with Glenn Greenwald signalling he would produce documents showing that this new programme had gone much further, Key admitted that it had. In fact, he fessed up that a probe had been inserted into the Southern Cross cable to collect the data. On Radio New Zealand this morning, Bruce Ferguson spilled the beans, with his own former GCSB head all but declaring that our private communications are indiscriminately collected under the heading Cyber Security. The PM must surely follow through on his promise to resign. This was exactly the charge he denied during the GCSB debate. Now, just before I hand you over to Ed Snowden, a quick update on Te Tai Tokoro. Last night, Māori TV produced a poll showing Hone narrowly ahead of Kelvin Davis. The poll was two months old, landline only, in an electorate where 30% of the voters don't even have landlines. In the by-election, the same poll had the same result and Hone finished 10% ahead. Our independently commissioned poll, which doesn't just rely on landlines, showed a comfortable lead for Hone. Meanwhile, John Key has encouraged national voters to vote for Kelvin. Well, here's news, John. They already are. There isn't any more room for growth in his numbers. Our voter mobilisation effort in the electorate is awesome, and Labour voters are voting for Hone because they know that is how we can change the government. Well, that's it from me. Now here is Ed Snowden. Ka kite anō, and stay informed, Aotearoa. When the bulk collection of private citizens' communications, emails, text messages, location data, metadata, calling records, what you order online, what you buy, who you talk to, who you love, what you do, when these things are collected by any arm of government, without an individualized, particularized suspicion of wrongdoing. On the individual level, that is a violation, not just of rights on the national level, but of human rights that are not given to us by government, but are inherent to our nature. Uh, but the key is, you've got this network of sensors around the world, and then I, sitting at the NSA in Hawaii, come in in the morning, I type in my search. I look for, let's say I wanna read John Key's email. I answer his email address, and it sends that search to every one of these sensor networks around the world. And they search their local database of metadata and content. The content of all communications that pass through these sites is held for about three to five days, depending on the storage. And it's constantly, getting, uh, constantly going back further and further in time uh, as we gain more capability. So I can see everything. I can see what book you looked at at amazon.com, you know, uh, last week. Um, I can see who you talked to. I can see who your friends on Facebook are. Uh, I can see the text messages you sent. I can read the emails you wrote. Uh, and I can set up things that are called fingerprints that allow me to track where you've been on the web, who you're talking to, even if you're using sort of anonymizing technology and so forth. 